Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rabbi Shlomo Kimchi, and I, like you, have uh, children in the war. Um, I have um, five children, Baruch Hashem, one boy and four girls. So my son and my four sons-in-law are all in the IDF at the moment, and I want to share with you some ideas known as psychotrauma, how to, how to, how we should, we can uh, preserve our psyche, how not to go mad as we face the trauma and difficulties that we are facing. I want to share with you three points, which uh, they say are the basis of our resilience in order to stay sane. Number one is meaning. That means our sons and daughters that are, that are in the front line and are, whether they are in Gaza or in the north or somewhere else in Israel, in Yehudan, Sharon, they, what they are doing has a big meaning. They are the continuation of Milchama la Hashem ba'amalek midor dor. Every generation, we have to fight our fights. V'hisha amda lavotein v'lanu. What is that? What is that kept us going? Shelo echad bilvad amad alein lechaloteinu. Ela shabachol dor omdim alein lechaloteinu. That every generation, we have to fight our fights. Baruch Hashem, we could fight our fights. 80 years ago in Europe, we could not fight back. But Baruch Hashem, we're fighting back. And they're doing a good, good job. And however much we're worrying, they're doing something of great meaning and great importance. That's point number one. Point number two is our routine. It is important that we keep our routine. And I've been, I've, I've had, had calls uh, asking from, from the front line, asking me, how are you doing? What are you doing today? I said, why is that interesting? He said, we are fighting so that you can keep your routine. Our routine, our keeping our routine is their success. That's point number two. And point number three is hope. We are people of hope. Most of the philosophers uh, in the world claim that the end of days will be negative, will be a catastrophe, will be end with, with a hole in the ozone that we're all going to melt or will there'll be a international uh, um, uh, uh, atomic war that the, that the world will destroy itself. No, we believe in Mashiach. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who Mashiach is. I don't know where he's going to come, but it means we believe in a happy end. We are people of hope. And I'm very proud of Medinat Yisrael that the national anthem is called Ha Tikva, the hope. We are people of hope. These are the three components to protect our sanity and to get through this difficult time without going mad. The meaning, the routine, and hope. Now, a short idea from Rav Soloveitchik who asked an interesting question about the davening of Shabbos. Every day the davening is the same in the evening and the morning and the afternoon. If it's a weekday, so after Ha'il Kodosh we say Atachonen. And if it's a Yontif, so after Ha'il Kodosh we say Atobachatonu. However, Shabbos, it's totally different. The evening is totally different. We say, uh, um, after Ha'il Kodosh we say Atokidashto and Vaychulu. And in the morning we say Yismach Meisha and we say Vishamu. Uh, and after we say, totally different. Why is that? So says Rabbi Lutzavitchik that every Shabbos we're really celebrating three Shabbosos. What are the three Shabbosos? First of all, in the evening we're celebrating Shabbos Bereshis. In the past, we look backwards to Shabbos Bereshis. Like at Kodesh Baruch, after six days of work, made a Shabbos for himself. So the same, we have to make a Shabbos for ourselves after six days of work, which means our Shabbos has a meaning. And, the, and then in the morning, um, uh, at, uh, we say, um, uh, we, we say Yisrael Moshe, and Veshamu is in present tense, it is now, the, we say, we were celebrating this Shabbos. This Shabbos has importance because it's part of our routine. We're here, we're here on, 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 on Wednesday, Shabbos is coming in three days' time, we already feel excited. We never have very long dark t- tunnels. Our dark tunnels can only be for six days because at the seventh day, we can always see the big light. And therefore, our routine is important. And the third one is 
um, is Ato Echod Veshimcho Echod Avom Yogi Al Yitzchak Yuan, which is future tense, future tense, which is we're celebrating the future Shabbos, which is Shabbos or Menucha Lechai Yolam, a futuristic Shabbos. Those are the three Shabbos, the three Shabbos that we're celebrating, and they come uh, and they correlate with the three Tefillas, and they correlate beautifully with these three concepts of psychotrauma, how to handle ourselves with meaning, with routine, and with hope. I'm just speaking to myself, really. I'm alone in a room, and I'm speaking to myself, because I want to give myself chizok, because I believe strongly that these are the three components that will help us get through this difficult, difficult time uh, insanity. Shabbat Shalom Ubahatzlacha Rabba Bimitsa Hashem, all your children should come back safe and sound and happy after a big victory Bimhevabiomeno Amen.